Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Jay, back at it again with the Crimson Camry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove your OEM spoiler. Um, I am installing my new spoiler from Custom Tuning today. So, uh, I ain't got my keys, but yeah, hold on. First thing first, open your trunk, you know what I'm saying? You're going to want to take off this liner. Uh, so just like a couple push-ins, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve push-ins, maybe thirteen. I'm not sure if I counted them. I think it's thirteen, but yeah. You want to take those off first? Real easy. Got this right here. Get into the little groove right here. Boom, off. You know what I'm saying? Get a cup or something so you won't lose them, or just put them in the side, like right here, like I have it. All right. Uh, let me use both my hands after you take the last one off make sure you're careful with this you don't want to snag that or whatever all right do this right here all right it comes off put this to the side for right now all right so what you're going to be looking at is This bolt right here, okay, the one right there, and the one that's over there, that is bolted now, the, the original spoiler. Um, this is not my original spoiler, but it is a OEM spoiler, okay? I'm pretty sure it's a 10 millimeter bolt. So get, go ahead and get your socket wrench. Um, let me go ahead and get that real quick. All right, so after you get the bolt out, a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, uh, make sure you don't drop it inside the trunk. Or you're gonna have a hard time getting it out go ahead and close your trunk you want to get something similar to this um and right now mine's is gonna be much easier but all you're gonna do is go along the side like this and get the glue up from the spoiler okay now after you take the spoiler off you're gonna have something similar to this maybe not as bad uh with so much glue that stayed on top of it but you'll see this right here, this little bracket that's inside here that's covering most of the factory holes. You'll see the main factory hole right here. You know what I'm saying? Just take your tool and easily, you know what I'm saying? Go go on it like that, all right? Until you get all the glue up. It's gonna be fairly easy for, easy for the most part. Uh, don't listen to the other people when they're saying, oh, you need to use a heat gun. Um, no, you don't need to do any of that. Don't go out there and spend the money on a heat gun if you don't got one or getting a hair dryer um it's not that serious but yeah, you're going to want to use something like this that way no matter how much pressure you put on it see i'm having a hard time right now because it's my left hand and I'm, i was using two hands when i'm not recording but you want to use something like this because you're not going to scratch the paint um all this right here is going to come up with the lack of thinner we're going to clean my alcohol we're going to take this off as you can see there's like little pins to push in on this bracket and you just take those off and the whole thing will come right off all right let's go, go somewhere like this don't worry about what you see right now all that is going to be completely lifted up going whatever like slight scratch like this one right here um can easily be buffed out with some compound all right so i'm gonna go ahead and take these pins out so we can go ahead and look at this and clean this up because there's glue underneath here too so i just took one of the pins out right now i just wanted to show you just in case you was curious the pins are right here, like in the open, you can clearly see them. Right there, there's one, the one I took out. The next one I'm gonna take out is right there. The other ones are just like little push-ins, okay? All right, so I took all of the pins out. So now you go do the same thing, get something similar to this, okay? My dad gave me this, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't know where I got it. Oh, you don't even have to go, go through much. I don't think it's that much glue on there. And you just be careful. Um, I'm not sure if people, are going to want to resell it um i'm going to be careful with mine i don't want to completely break it but this will break if you're not careful with it um i'm gonna go ahead and use two hands with this yeah because it's not coming out the way i want to all right so there we go it, it wasn't hard at all i just had to use two hands to get a little pressure some little strength behind it but um it came right off okay just you know pull it off the glue on it wasn't too powerful you didn't i didn't really i didn't even have to use that uh that tool at all to pull it off but as you can see this is what it looked like when you take it off you can see all the acids glue and stuff like that i'm all about to rub out okay 
So right now I just put some alcohol on a microfiber tile. Um, right now I'm just rubbing just to see what I'm working with. And then I'm gonna uh, wet it again with some lacquer thinner um, to get the, the glue that's not coming up. All right. Doesn't look too bad right now. I might get my dad to buff it out. But uh, at the same time, I'm not too worried about it because the spoiler that is coming from custom tuning is specifically made to cover the factory holes. And it's thick enough to cover, you know, these little marks I made on my car while I was taking it off from the glue and stuff like that. This is what I'm using right here. All right. Just to go over it a little bit more, get that glue off of there real good. As you see, it is coming right off. Okay. And it's, it's stripping the wax off of my car too, uh, that I had on my trunk, but that's cool. I put plenty of wax in my car to build it right back up. Should be underneath right here. All right. All right, so now I'm out here looking like an LE. So here's a new spoiler from Custom Tuning. I already prepped it, guys. So what you're gonna look at here, I got some uh, uh, half inch 3M tape from AutoZone. It's the same one I use for my diffuser and spats. Um, I went ahead and, and went ahead and prepped it onto here and left it in the sun for about, I guess, probably about two hours now. Um, left it in the sun so it could settle, you know what I'm saying? So it could get that heat to it before I really take the tape off and put it onto the final product, okay? So don't be me guys over here cutting myself messing around with that that blade wasn't even paying attention um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some tape and just cover the holes right along the, along the side i'll show you in a second all right guys so i just got some tape and put it right on top of the hole some 3m tape all the other factory holes all right it's not gonna go nowhere it's not gonna seep through this okay and as for here as i'm prepping it Pulling the tape up a little bit, that way I can do it the right way. All right, there she go. She on there, nice and tight. Don't mind that. <laughs> okay. See from underneath, she's on there. All right, cover the holes. The tape, as I was putting it on there, I just pulled the tape just like that as I went along. That way, over here, distance, same distance, okay? Now they need to put some wax on this baby. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's a wrap. Right now I got wax in my car. Uh, I just started using chemical guys, butter wax, wet wax, this stuff right here. Um, and I use Spot Deliver stuff by Ardex. Uh, most people don't even know who Ardex is, but I don't expect average people to know about professional detail products. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. You know, you guys, you know, I'm, 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 I'm doing it for the average camera guys. Yeah, so um, you know, I'm doing this for the average camera guy. I'm recording off of Snapchat, posting it on YouTube. You know, I appreciate all the love and support lately. You know, people follow me on Instagram, ask me questions, you know. Feel free to comment below if you want to know anything, where I got it from, or anything else that you see on my car. Uh, I usually reply back to people on YouTube, or you can hit me up on Instagram. Um, but yeah, uh, I appreciate the support, guys. Stay tuned to the next video, to whatever I decide to do next in my car. Honestly, I think I'm going to wait about a month or two and get my magnifo exhaust and i'm gonna start it by myself it's gonna be rough but i'm gonna do it so yes sir